Hey, I know tough, Vic. You've obviously never been in an olive garden that's run out of breadsticks. The delivery on these lines are so bad, dude. The Garfield movie sucks, and that's really sad to say. I really don't hate Garfield in any sense. I'm actually a fan of the older work, say like Garfield and Friends. I think that was Garfield at his purest form, his best form in my opinion. Like, this movie feels like Garfield and Samuel Jackson. <laughs> The Garfield movie feels ashamed to be Garfield because none of the characters act themselves. Like, the the closest character I can say that's acting in a Garfield sort of way would have to be Odie. And Odie's acting sort of like Garfield. Chris Pratt really doesn't do a good job as Garfield as he doesn't do a good job for the Mario movie. He's just kind of a one-trick pony. And as far as I'm aware until he shows me otherwise, I just think he's Star-Lord and that's it. He can't do any other voices. Not only that, but the voice actors that were given their roles don't feel like the characters. Like, John doesn't feel like John. Odie, for the most part, doesn't feel like Odie. And Garfield really doesn't feel like Garfield. He's like a re-envisioned Garfield that nobody really wants. I grew up on the comic strips and Garfield and Friends, like I said. And so the Garfield I know and love is like, pessimistic, sarcastic, and also like witty. He's very charming as well, and he has some wholesome moments. But here in the Garfield movie, um, 2024, he's, uh, he's just annoying, dude. The Garfield here tries to have charisma, but it's just not really working out. Like there's no, he doesn't really feel like a human. He feels like a product. And there's a lot of product placement in this. So it makes a lot of sense. Garfield has lost his identity. He's so whiny throughout this whole thing. And not to say old Garfield wasn't whiny at all. He absolutely was. It's just that like he had other characteristics that made us relate to him, made him human. He was like, he was almost like, a vessel that relates to us like mirroring us so when Garfield back in the day used to do fourth wall breaks like talking to the camera I was absolutely I don't know it felt natural to me because like he had a sort of relatability to him now he's just Chris Pratt and he's the most annoying whiny bitch ass motherfucker <laughs> people who sing like that should be drug out into the street and shot Phaser alert is code alpha. John's dressing even worse than usual. Give me your wallet. I don't have a wallet. Vince, I'll go someplace else. I hate it when milk goes bad. See, now this Garfield is funny, and they definitely know how to deliver a line. Another gripe I have with this movie is definitely the modernization of it. Like, it feels way, way too modern. Like, they're trying to appeal solely to, like, babies and infants who are growing up in this era and nothing else and it's it's very strange because Garfield is an older product like it's like they're trying to force him into this new world as if he didn't already exist speaking of making things more modern the animation uh, I'm not really feeling it the art style reminds me of like illumination and it's like almost like these clay models I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of them i think some of the animations like at times it can be great but for the most part it's it's not the greatest look artistically people are gonna say i hate garfield look at this i hate mondays i don't hate garfield <laughs> although i really dislike the animation and the voice acting and a lot of other factors in this I really, really want to give this movie a solid chance. I, funnily enough, I didn't want to dislike this movie, but then I realized the story they were going for and it's absolutely horrendous. This story is about Garfield reconnecting with his father. And the only reason he's reconnecting with his father is because he gets in trouble with a white cat who wants revenge on his dad because she ended up being locked up for trying to steal milk and he didn't help her out. <laughs> 
that by itself is extremely stupid, but like, what's even stupider is that the movie kind of recognizes this, and it's just like, well, we only wanted your father, so Garfield has no purpose reconnecting to his father whatsoever, he hates his dad, and he doesn't even want to help his dad in the first place, he just gets dragged along and forced to help his father and reconnect with his father, it's so stupid. There's a big sort of ho 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 plot twist at the end, which is not a plot twist at all it's just stupid because the white cat is just like i never wanted you to repay me in milk i just wanted you jailed so then why did garfield and odie need to come along there's there's just no reason i think for sure the two best characters in this movie are the ox i think the ox is very funny and has some very funny moments and odie odie feels like garfield they, I don't know what's going on. They just feel very different. The movie has a small amount of funny moments, but like, it, it really sucks because they feel like they don't know what Garfield is. Like, Garfield is supposed to have like, witty, sarcastic responses, and like, he, he sort of like, majority of the times, he's sort of like, setting up his own punchline, which it, it feels like... He, he's not supposed to do. Garfield feels best when he's bouncing off other characters and it feels like they're greatly misusing the characters in this, which kind of sucks. Like when, when they're bouncing off of each other, it feels kind of decent for the most part. Like Chris Pratt just isn't really Garfield, but like it still feels decent. But for the most part, Garfield is setting himself up. It feels like he's just talking to himself and it's just like, holy Lord. You, you don't understand Garfield, do you? <laughs> like, we don't get to see normal. We don't get to see John have a relationship, which it, it, it's fine. It's mo The main focus is on Garfield. It's a movie. I totally get that. We don't get to see Penelope. I don't know. It feels like they missed out on a lot of opportunities and what makes Garfield Garfield. I'm going to be completely honest. I think I'm going to give the Garfield movie a solid zero. I left the movie theater feeling very confused, conflicted, very annoyed, and just saddened because is this what Garfield has become? The story was stupid, the animation was stupid, the score, the score was kind of alright. I wasn't really paying the most attention to the score because I was just so focused on being annoyed by Chris Pratt being Garfield and him not, him not being Garfield. <laughs> they had a Snoop Dogg song. Oh my god, they had a Snoop Dogg song at the end, or at least a feature of Snoop Dogg, and I was like, holy lord, what are you doing? This feels like the most cash grab thing I've ever seen in my life, and the product placement really does showcase that. I think I'm solidified in my opinion. I... I cannot see any redeeming qualities in this. I would not show this to my kid. I would not recommend this to anyone for the most part. But, you know, that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 